A new hydroelectric dam is bringing both power and hope to Sierra Leone, supplying regular electricity to the capital of Freetown. Viewer Scott Stearns reports from Dakar. In the lush Sula Mountains, a new hydroelectric dam is supplying energy to the people of Sierra Leone. Thirty years in the making, the Bumbuna Dam finally came online in November. Engineer Bokari Vondi works for the Italian firm Salini Construction that built the dam. At the moment, our, our total capacity is 50 megawatts, but it determines on the output that we give free time to take. If free time want 20, we can give them 20. If they want 50, we can give them 50. It depends on their network distribution. Sierra Leone's distribution network was damaged by the country's long civil war, and it cannot keep up with what the hydroelectric dam is producing. Freetown's Kingdom Power Station is now receiving 25 megawatts of power from the Bumbuna Dam. For some, that's brought down the cost of doing business. Brima George manages Freetown's Mednatu Internet Cafe. Well, business was very expensive before Bumbuna because we used the generator to get um, electricity, which was very expensive, buy fuel. But with um, Bumbuna, things are better compared to before. With Bumbuna, George says one month of power now costs what he used to pay for four days with a generator. World Bank President Robert Zellig visited the dam last month. The World Bank is funding $38 million worth of projects, in part, to compensate villagers who lost land to the dam. It's hard to grow a country if you don't have electricity. And this is a dam uh, that was started before the conflict but it only recently has been filled in with water. And in filling in this uh, dam, we had a team that worked to try to deal with the some 5,000 people that had to be re relocated and given a new lifestyle. Kasokra village sits on the hillside above the dam. Villagers there did not lose their homes, but they did lose farmland. Kumbatore was moved to Kasorka from her home village, which was one of 30 villages to go underwater when the dam was built. <laughs> They gave us money, but it wasn't enough to build. It was only for our plantation. We shared out the money in the town. They haven't told us if they will build houses for us, apart from the rumors that we heard. Engineer Bokari Vondi says a second reservoir upstream should boost power and help encourage more foreign investment. It will be enough for Freetown and its environs. Environs may be part of the north. It will be enough and it will be a real power base for Sierra Leone. The dam's second phase could take up to six years if Sierra Leone is able to raise the cost about $500 million. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Dakar.